the Western Conference NBA Playoffs. Round one continues. The Jazz come into game three up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Dallas Mavericks. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Hello, everyone, and welcome to game three of this Western Conference first round series. We're 2-0 so far, and we'll see if the home court advantage holds sway. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Utah's Quinn Snyder is an elite coach. He says it's rewarding to be a part of a group that's bigger than a coach or a player. That connectivity. Guys have found things for themselves within the team, and that's how we play. Everybody's getting something out of it, but also selflessly contributing. Kevin? What a great philosophy. DA, thanks. We'll take a look at Utah. Shock in the world, winning two on the road to start this series. Greg, if they win tonight, their lead could be insurmountable. No doubt. They, they have a chance to win both at home and close this thing out, but their opponent is the higher seed for a reason. Momentum can shift very quickly, and sometimes when you lose it, you can't get it back. Yeah, very hard. You're right. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. They've got Reggie Bullock. Jalen Brunson out there with Powell. And it's Finney Smith in at the four. And for Utah, Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Agdanovich out there with O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the five down low. Now here's Bullock. Kicks it to Dinwiddie. And here's Brunson. The three. Dinwiddie with the bucket. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Mitchell against Brunson. Back to O'Neal. From deep. It's good from long range. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? The clubs answer each other from range. Now, here's Dinwiddie, and it goes down two points. Dinwiddie's got five now. This is basketball 101. This is the size mismatch you look to create. Mitchell passes to Conley. Back to Mitchell. And that one is off. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Dinwiddie against Conley. And here's Bullock from the arc. Another three for Dallas. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Down low, here's O'Neal. Bullock with the rebound. Mavericks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Conley against Dinwiddie. Pass to Brunson. Back to Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. Over Gobert. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Jazz have gone just one of four to get this game started. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Kindly, the pass to Bogdanovich. Yes, that goes in. A more physical player at this stage of his career. Boyan is not bothered by the contact on that shot. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Dinwiddie finds Powell. Just five on the clock. Into the lane, and he uses both hands to jam it in. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And it's Mitchell with the jam. 
Always on the attack. Mitchell loves to drive it to the hoop. Put the pressure on the D. Dinwiddie kicks to Brunson. The pass to Bullock. Over O'Neal. And it's Bullock missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Conley inside the line. And there's another one for the Jam. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They come off a real tough loss on Wednesday. You guys, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out, though. If you're going to shoot in the low 30s, you're going to end up losing a lot of games. They couldn't hit a thing out there. With that awful shooting percentage, you will be lucky to win one game in this league. Jazz trail by three. Gobert with a screen on Brunson. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. Lock at six. And he drives in. That shot off. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Pass to Dinwiddie. Brunson scanning the floor. Over Mitchell. Brunson no good. The Jazz have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Mitchell against Brunson. Mitchell dishes to O'Neal. Now, here's Mitchell. Brunson covering. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. That one drops. He ties it up. Rudy Gobert has real enthusiasm for the game. You don't earn multiple defensive player of the year awards if you're not passionate about it. Now here's Brunson. Dinwiddie outside. No good on the three. The Jazz have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Mitchell outside. Conley sets a screen for Mitchell. That one drops, and he's now two for five. More than just a shooter, Donovan Mitchell is crafty at getting it done inside two. Conley against Dinwiddie. Powell with a screen on Conley. And the foul called on Boyan Bogdanovich. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Powell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Powell with a screen on O'Neal. Bullock. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. No one near Conley as he lets it go. And the Jazz, another three. And this is something Conley's worked on since entering the league. His ability to stretch the floor. To the wing on the left. Now, here's Bullock. He's tightly guarded. Down to five on the shot clock. Brunson against Mitchell. Brunson, no good. Jazz leading by five. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Here's Mitchell. The Mavericks pull it in. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Passes it to Finney Smith. Dinwiddie outside. To halt the run. That shot misses. The Jazz go the other way with it. Pass to Bogdanovich. 
Dinwiddie against Conley. Back to Bogdanovich. Shoots over Bullock. Bogdanovich, no luck. Mavericks trailed by five. And he's going up for the alley hoop. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Whiteside's checked in for Gobert. Hernan Gomez comes in for Bogdanovich. Daniel House is checked in for Royce O'Neal. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Mike Conley. Then for the Mavericks, Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Davis Bertans comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Green in for Reggie Bullock. Jazz leading by five. Mitchell looking it over. At the elbow, it's Whiteside. He kicks it to Clarkson. Mavericks with the rebound. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Now the pass to Brunson. to the middle they kick it out to green five on the clock Kleba sets the screen for green Dallas no good that time either Utah has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead yeah you have to protect the rim Greg a little better also if you can't get stops at this point it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end Dinwiddie passes to Kleba. Back to Dinwiddie. To end the cold streak, and it's blocked by Whiteside. With that long wingspan, Hassan Whiteside saying, no, not in my house. How's the pass to Mitchell? Shoots over Dinwiddie. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Working against size. He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch.
So it's the Mavericks now. Nine point game. Dinwiddie outside. Dallas again missing. Utah's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. Jazz passing it around. And the jam by Whiteside. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. Now, here's Bertons. No points in the game yet for him. Kleba with a screen on Clarkson. Just five to shoot. Brunson. None of the miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Jazz leading by 11. House kicks to Clarkson. That one, no good. Now Dallas takes it the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The drive by Green, and Green slams it in. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now, here's Mitchell. Six points for him. And it's good for two. Mitchell's got eight. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the first. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Not a lot of room. Back to Brunson. 17-foot shot on the way. And the jumper is on the mark. Brunson's got his second bucket. Mitchell against Dinwiddie. Hernan Gomez with a screen on Dinwiddie. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Now, here's Bertans. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Bertans sets the pick for Dinwiddie. Driving to the basket. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. The shot by Kleba, wide open, and the three off target. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. It's the Jazz up by 10. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And such a great story. Royce O'Neal, undrafted out of Baylor, played all over Europe before catching on with the Utah Jazz as a hard-nosed defender. Thinking back from when I started, you know, overseas, summer camps, mini camps, to where I am now, you know, just an honor being in the position that I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity. So, you know, I could tell my story to the younger kids, just the journey, never give up. And O'Neal starting in Utah the last few seasons, and Greg earning a long-term deal. Yeah, a quality 3 and D guy. Like he said, he never gave up, and even now continues to play with that same hunger. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Utah. 
Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off an insist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the floor for Dallas. Green is up there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Davis Berton. Then there's Maxi Kleber. And it's Finney Smith in at the small forward. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Dallas shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Free throw drops for Green. O'Neal's checked in for Utah. The Mavericks also with a sub. Dwight Powell's checked in for Bertens. He's perfect from the line this time. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Clarkson against Green. Gobert with a screen on Green. The drive by Clarkson. Here's Conley. And he finishes nicely on the layup. That's seven points for Conley. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Stolen by O'Neal. Clarkson dishes to O'Neal. To the paint. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by O'Neal. Conley's got four this quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And Brunson has it in the corner. Pass to Finney Smith. Shot clock at five. Here's Green. Rebound, Utah. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. Brunson against Conley. Gobert with a screen on Brunson. Clarkson outside. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Kleba's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Brunson the pass to Green. To Brunson. Over O'Neal. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And it's Conley with the ball for the Jazz. The Jazz working the ball around now. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. Passes it to Gobert. Clarkson for three. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Green the pass to Brunson. That's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Clarkson looking for an opening. Conley finds Bogdanovich. A three ball. Offensive rebound and slam dunk by Gobert. You see how seriously Gobert takes rebounding, just getting after it. Great activity. To the left wing. Brunson against Conley. 11 feet away, and that one goes long. Jazz leading by 11. Clarkson with the ball. Now Green defending. Now, here is O'Neal. D right on him. The feed to Gobert. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint.
Dallas making a switch here. Bullock's checked in. Mavericks trail by 13. Pass to Brunson. The pass to Finney Smith. Now here's Bullock. He's covered by Clarkson. Shoots a fader. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Pass to Gobert. The dish to Clarkson. Kicks to Conley. Bogdanovich looking around. Over Kleba. Bogdanovich, no luck for Dallas. They've gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. To the wing right side. Here's Finney Smith. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. The three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Clarkson right side. And he banks in the layup. Clarkson's got five. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Runs in the pass to Finney Smith. Dallas moving the ball around. He kicks it to Powell. Here's Brunson. It's tipped. Great awareness by Bondanovich. Working hard to come up with the block. Clarkson for three. It's good on the putback. Gobert's got the lead up to 14 now for the Jams. And Kevin, they've dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. To the inside. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Jazz making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Dinwiddie's checked in for Dallas. One shot. One shot. Jazz leading by 11. Mitchell outside. Driving the lane. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Now, here's Bullock. Covered by Mitchell. Dinwiddie kicks to Bullock. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Drills it from outside. Dinwiddie's got 12 in the game. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Mitchell outside. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Bullock. Inside, here's Kleba. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Mitchell wide open. Bangs home the trifecta. Mitchell's got five points in the quarter. Wasting no time. Donovan is never afraid to fire. Dinwiddie outside. And he makes good on the layup. 14 points for him. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Mitchell outside. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Few players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. 
Here's Dinwiddie. He's got 14. Pass to Kleba. It's up a three. Offensive rebound. Powell. And the dunk by Powell. And just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Now, here is O'Neal. Shoots the three. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Bullock passes to Dinwiddie. With some arc, and the basket is good. Dinwiddie's got 16. Utah leading by 13. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. Conley against Dinwiddie. Right side, Conley. Gobert dishes to Conley. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Tries again, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Dallas gets called for the foul. The Jazz shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. throw good Bogdanovich well he started out as a pure shooter Bogdanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher white sides checked in for Utah Daniel house comes in for O'Neal and Dallas also making a switch Bearton has checked in And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Dinwiddie right side. Here he goes. And oh, the block shot crams it out of the air. Well, the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Mavericks trail by 15. Bullock passes to Dinwiddie. And there's the pass to Finney Smith. Out to the wing. Ertons kicks to Finney Smith. And it's off from three-point range. On the wing, Mitchell. 16 points for him. Pass to Whiteside. Over Bertans. Whiteside, no good. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Down by 15. Over to the left wing. Back to Bullock, launches it. The rebound by the Jams. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Conley dishes to House. Passes it to Mitchell. Driving inside. Second shot opportunity. Right side, no good. Mavericks trail by 15. 46 seconds left now here in the second. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. Pass to Berton. Dallas, no good that time either. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Dinwiddie against Conley. To the left side wing. 
Outside House. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got four assists in the game. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Dinwiddie with it. They could use a bucket, and it's good on the way in. Dinwiddie's got nine points in the quarter. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Jazz lead by 16. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, with Rudy Gobert a mainstay for your team, what is he giving you? Well, he's been so consistent. His offensive rebound and just keeping plays alive and a little bit of everything. He's playing well. And that means good things for your squad, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Greetings, everybody. Game three, man, it's a huge lead for the Utah Jazz. They were in such a groove that entire first half, especially on the offensive end. Good play calling, good execution, and by and large, they take good, not good, great shots. Taking a look at the Jazz in this series. Everything has gone right for them so far. Two games on the road, and they now return home up two games in the series. Ernie, they've looked faster and more aggressive. The way I look at it, you know, right now, this is their series to lose. You know, they can't get complacent with a 2-0 series lead. When you're facing a group of players with desperation, you cannot let your guard down. Desperation, a terrible cologne, by the way. That, that does it for us, folks. We'll see you next time. That's what I'm wearing right now. Ooh, that's what's thinking? And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Here's Brunson. Six points for him. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Gobert is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's O'Neal in at the three. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Uh oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Mitchell outside. Driving in. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Mitchell's got 18 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Jazz leading by 13. Now Conley. Nine points in the game so far. To the inside. And slam dunk by Gobert. This is why Gobert shoots a high percentage. He understands how to carve out room inside and finish. Now here's Brunson. Dinwiddie right side. And the layup's good off the glass. Dinwiddie's got four points this quarter. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Now here is Conley. He feeds it to Gobert. Shot clock at six. Mitchell against Brunson. Basket good. Mitchell's got 20. When you can't get all the way to the rim, that's the backup plan. Rise up for a mid-range jumper. Over to the wing. Bullock kicks to Powell. Back to Bullock. Dallas moving it around. Powell with a screen on Conley. Tinwitty drives in. Gobert with the block. The wingspan of Gobert is huge. And he uses it so well to deny shooters. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for Dallas. 
Leaves to the hoop. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And it's Mitchell missing. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Here's Brunson. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Utah leading by 13. Mitchell passes to Conley. Back to Mitchell. Right side Bogdanovich. Now here's Mitchell. Defense right on him. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Mike Conley. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Dinwiddie outside. Now here's Bullock, guarded by O'Neal. Six on the shot clock. Bullock kicks to Kleba. With the drive, the shot's good from Brunson. Brunson's got four this quarter. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Gobert with a screen on Dinwiddie. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. What you love about Donovan Mitchell, not only does he explode into his moves, he finishes with authority. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And here's Brunson. Ten points for him. Dinwiddie passes to Kleba. Brunson with it. He's covered by Clarkson. Yep, it counts. Brunson's got 12 in the game. A much different player here in the second half. He's taken advantage of what the defense allows. Mitchell up top. Dinwiddie covering. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Mavericks trail by 13. Here's Brunson. He's got 12. Dinwiddie outside. Shoots over Clarkson. Dinwiddie's shot is off. 
The Jazz have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Here's Bogdanovich. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Bertinus, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Here's Gobert. Kleba with the rebound. Kleba's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now here's Brunson. Dinwiddie outside. He takes it in, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard with that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. Kleba finds Berton. He can't get it to go. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Clarkson for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleba's got six rebounds in the game. Brunson against Clarkson. Here's Finney Smith. Another three for Dallas. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. The Jazz working the ball around now. Kleba against Mitchell. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Timeout, timeout. Dallas calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it. The other allowing itself to be bullied. White sides checked in for Utah. Daniel House comes in for O'Neal. Mitchell against Dinwiddie. Down low. And with that shot, the Jazz lead has cut to just 11 points in the basket from Brunson. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Now, here's Clarkson. Five points in the game. The shot's good. Man, just adding insult 
to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Finney Smith. Six points for him. The pass to Brunson from downtown. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Now the Jazz take it the other way. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. It's a 16-point game. Dinwiddie outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Pass to House. Dinwiddie with the steal. Takes it inside. Brunson, good. Brunson's got 16 points. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Back to Clarkson. They get the rebound. Mitchell against Dinwiddie. Here's Whiteside, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. Such a valuable playmaker for this team. Mitchell can get his own and get others involved as well. Clarkson against Brunson. Passes to Bertans. Beyond the arc. Utah with the rebound. Here is House. He's got five. Pass to Clarkson. Now here's Whiteside. Mitchell outside. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. A dynamic offensive talent. Mitchell is especially intelligent at knowing how to get to his spots and execute. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got 24. Brunson, good. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. How's the pass to Clarkson? Nice ball movement by Utah. Mitchell against Dinwiddie. And it's Mitchell missing. Mavericks trail by 16. Dinwiddie finds Brunson. Back to Dinwiddie. Just five to shoot. Rob. Mitchell with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Dallas has gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard, that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Runs in the pass to Dinwiddie. One ten left to play in the third. Here's Bertans for three. Rebound, Utah. Mitchell's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And the layup falls. Mitchell's got 18 points just in the second half. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Out left of the wing. Clarkson against Brunson. Down to five on the shot clock. Going inside, and he goes in for the dunk. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Mavericks trail by 16. Dinwiddie with it. And the pass to Finney Smith. Here's Brunson. Over Mitchell. 
You need strength. You need length. You need a strong frame and quick feet. Donovan Mitchell has all of that. That's why he could be one of the best stoppers in this game. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Utah. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. On the floor for Dallas, we've got Jalen Brunson. Reggie Bullock is out there with Davis Bertans. Then there's Dwight Powell, and it's Dinwiddie in at the one. And good that time. You know he's going to take a lot of shots out there. He's their number one option right now. Dinwiddie outside. Bertans, a screen on Conley. Dinwiddie rips it home after the terrific move. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys, and it was the same exact story last time out. Here's Mitchell. Here's Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. We're watching the offensive of development by Rudy Gobert. He is exploding tonight. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Dinwiddie outside. Offline with his three. Jazz leading by 18. Now Conley. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Conley's shot is off. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Pass to Brunson. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. And there's the drive. That one doesn't go. Gobert with the defensive effort. Here's Mitchell. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Gobert with a screen for Bogdanovich. A three-pointer off the mark. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. To the paint. Here's Dinwiddie. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Following the miss by Michael Conley. To the wing on the left. Mitchell against Brunson. For three. Here's Powell. Gobert with the defensive effort. It's Gobert with the ball for the Utah Jams. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Mitchell kicks to House. Passes it to Gobert. Nice ball movement by Utah. Gobert, the screen. And that's a foul called on Davis Bertans. That is his first foul of the game. O'Neal's checked in for Utah. The Mavericks also with a sub. Finney Smith's checked in. Mavericks on D. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Here's Mitchell. Back to O'Neal. Just five on the clock. He had a nice open look right there. A late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage. Grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Now here's Brunson. 
Dinwiddie right side. Back to Brunson. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pass to Conley. Bogdanovich dishes to Conley. Mitchell outside. And then Mitchell with the dunk. A high flyer with long arms. Mitchell attacks and powers it down. Dinwiddie passes to Brunson. Kicks it to Bullock. The Mavericks keeping it alive. The new 14. Dinwiddie attacking. And the powerful one-handed slam. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fellas. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Now, here's Mitchell. And slam dunk by Gobert. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And, Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. Here's Dinwiddie, following the bucket by the Jams. He kicks to Bullock. His three-pointers off the mark. Jazz leading by 21. Outside Conley, O'Neal a screen on Dinwiddie. Bogdanovich against Powell. Bogdanovich, no luck. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Now, here's Bullock. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. There's the pass to come. And here is Mitchell. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. A baseline J. That one wide left. Mavericks trailed by 19. And Brunson has it in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? Mitchell against Dinwiddie. Here's Gobert. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got six assists in the game. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Now here's Brunson. Back to Dinwiddie. And that one is hammered home. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Mitchell against Brunson. Has to go bare. Stolen by Bullock. Dinwiddie with it. Conley picks him up. To the middle. Here's Bullock. Stolen by O'Neal. Conley feeling it out. A clear look for Mitchell. And Utah again with the bucket. Ooh, heat check after heat check. He rises to the occasion, trying to wheel his team to victory. Now here's Brunson. Powell sets a screen for Brunson. Gobert with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Five to shoot. Bullock with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation.
Jazz leading by 21. Bogdanovich sets the pick for Conley. Gobert trying to get open. Sweet little floater. That shot, Conley has perfected it. The little teardrop. Dinwiddie outside. There's the triple. Buries the long-range jumper. Dinwiddie's got 37. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Rudy Gobert. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Jazz leading by 20. Now here's Conley. Passes it to Gobert. Mitchell outside. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Gobert. The pass to Conley. Six to shoot. Outside Bogdanovich. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. One of the main weapons Bogdanovich brings. A dead-eyed three-point shooter with impressive range. Now, here's Kleba. Dinwiddie outside. Now, here's Bullock. Tight defense on him. Over Bogdanovich. That one a little long. Utah has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. O'Neal kicks to Bogdanovich. To the paint. Out to Conley. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's guarded closely. Mitchell outside. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Back to Conley. Fires the three. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. 
And Mike Conley can do this now. He can play off the ball and punish the defense for giving him space. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. Now here is Conley. The floater. Bullock with the rebound. Bullock's got his sixth rebound on the night. Dinwiddie outside. One twenty-seven left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Brunson. This one for three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got five assists tonight. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Jazz. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this series has really gone their way. Yeah, it looks like a sweep may be in the cards with tonight's win. They'll be going up 3-0, and this is exactly what they wanted to do. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Rudy Gobert. Boy, such a big factor in the game tonight. His intensity on the boards. Even when guys put a body on him, he somehow still beats him to the ball. Now here's Dinwiddie following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. Dinwiddie passes to Bullock. Three-pointer. Another three for Dallas. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Conley. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Rudy. Donovan Mitchell Huge, of course, tonight. How great is it to have him on your side? Uh, it's great. You know, it's great. He's, uh, you know, he's a great teammate, he's a great player, and, uh, you know, we're going to need him if we want to win a championship. So, you know, it's, it's a big part of what we do. And he was big tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.